So let's explore the new formulas from our latest Unreal Engine Fractal plugin, which is called Mecha. When you add Mecha to your project, you will see this folder with all different um, function, materials, meshes, and all that stuff. So now you just want to explore the maps, the example levels. So dive into that and open Amazing Surf. And when you open that, you will see the wall level. So this is pretty big, but it's a fractal, so you don't have to worry about because it's not they are not polygons. There's no polygon here. And if you want to see what the camera sees, you can just right click on that and pilot cinema camera actor like this. But for now, we don't need that. So just go like this and find something that you like. So let's explore some of the new fractal parameters here. You have the scale for Amazing Surf, uh, which is not the scale like this scale here. So play with that. And that's another scale, which is called scale vary. Okay. And the mean radius, this is like, this is a special parameter because you see it's a fractal parameter, of course, so you will see that it changes the radius of the holes here. Then there's the folding options. So if you set one fold to zero, you will see that it's like two dimensional fractal. And if you play with the rotations, yeah, that's not pretty cool. So let's reset everything. And so you have one folding for each axis and you can, when you change the fold state, uh, you will see that nothing changes because you have to enable the box mode. So we go in three dimensions, basically, like this. It's now a cube. And if you reset the rotations, you will see that it's basically a cube. So you have this cool option if you want. And as you can see, everything is dynamic like that okay let's reset everything to default values like that enable the fog because it's cool then you have julia parameters rotation values and by the way i'm recording with obs studio so uh, if you see something flickering it's because of that I'm also in cinematic mode, so the fractals are kind of heavy right now, even if I see um, sometimes I hit 100 FPS, but OBS is flickering a bit, so don't worry, it's all smooth. You can play with all different parameters here, rotation. Okay, that's it. So uh, the next fractal is uh, folding broad. Let's explore parameters from this one. As you can see, 100 FPS on this one is a little faster, but depends also on the angle and how much space um, it covers. So this is really cool. And we've designed this fractal from scratch um, because we, we wanted to create a kaleidoscope effect. So you have all different kind of parameter here. We can change the screen percentage. So you have more quality. Okay. And you have the Julia mode. If you are used to fractals, you know that. It's like an offset for the fractal. And then there's this cool button, enable kaleidoscope, because if you disable that, 
you will see that the fractal is not symmetric anymore. And if you enable that, you have like a clock kaleidoscope fractal and you can change how many times you want to repeat that. You can also change the angles and of course they loop. So you can create really cool animation here. And you also have a separate angle parameter here. I invite you to explore that by yourself. Uh, there's not much to explain here. Also with the kaleidoscope disabled. Of course, the, um, all these, these parameters are not working because it's disabled. But you can still play with the angle and all the other parameters. This is also looking good to me. Pretty nice. But let's go to the next parameter, next fractal, sorry. The next one is clay shapes. And you can basically change the shapes of the fractal. As you can see here. And it's a pretty elegant fractal and sometimes you you get lost and just don't understand the the shape anymore so you can just debug shape and you will see how it looks like so it's like this and you can change it for example let's do a thin tube like this and then when you disable debug shape you will see that shape is that is like reiterated over the fractal then of course you have all the different um, coloring options and the PBR like metallic Or trap. This one has a cool feature that um, if you set the texture to be like for example if you change the orbit trap method you will find that you can actually see the image here. Let Let's use another texture, like this one. And now change the, the offset. As you can see, there's the image, the same texture. This is pretty cool. It's a pretty fun uh, fractal, simple but effective, easy to understand. The next fractal is clean shapes. So just open this level and this is what you will get. Oops, the camera is really fast. And basically, you have all different parameters here. You can enable or disable the shape. And when you change the shape scale, you will see that only some parts of the fractal will change. This is pretty trippy too. Really cool. I love this. You can create some really thin lines here let's go around a bit so you will see the fractal from outside it's it's basically a cube as you can see here and let's see the camera 
like that. You can change the scale. Just play with different parameters until you are happy with that. Like this, I love this. It's pretty cool. The next fractal is called Structura and it's basically a hybrid fractal. So you have um, the manger box, the manger sponge and amazing box hybrid. And the way you can interpolate the two fractal is with uh, the box bias, bias. So if you change that, you see the manger sponge here and at zero, you will have the amazing box fractal and anything in between will create a hybrid between the two fractals so you have the box scale box fold radius and me radius which is which are all amazing box parameter as you can see here you can change them and starting from here until the angle all these are manger parameters so you can rotate the manger to get some organic looking shapes but i like the default honestly like that as always you can navigate through the camera like that and go around with your gamepad or your vr device pretty cool and you can smooth smooth the fractal or keep it like hard surface like this and all these different parameters are basically fractal parameters so you have to explore and uh, there's not really a rule for that you can just experiment and find something that looks good for you Pretty cool, love this formula. There's also another example level, this one, where you can see the fractal in the structure of fractal in default values, which also have some nice, uh, nice shapes. I love this thing. And here it's way easier to understand what's going on. If you change the scale, for example. I always look for some details. So these kind of shapes are not really good to me because there's not much detail uh, but by playing with different parameters you can archive some really cool stuff like the bridge here and you see that it's not it's too smooth here for me so you can decrease the smooth parameter and you will have a 90 degree angle Pretty cool. So the next fractal is called Ubermanger. And this is a version, it's like a Uber version, a really improved version of the standard Manger sponge. So when you open the level, it looks like this. And of course you can see the camera like that. And it's flickering because of the camera settings. And it could be also the anti-aliasing, but it's not related to the fractal itself. So don't worry about that. 
So let's see the wall thing. I think this is my favorite one. It's pretty complex. You have, I don't know how many, but many different fractals parameter. And you can twist things. You can change the scale, like in Structura, is very similar. But the thing I love the most of, on this fractal is that you can, um, you can make it wave. So, if you set the wave iteration to zero, it will make the fractal wave like this which of course loops so it's pretty cool and you can change the frequency increase that and change the height of the wave another cool thing if you set the wave iteration to one you will have smaller waves as you can see here And if you increase that even more, like five, it will loop in a really strange way. I love this. Then you have all different parameters. Uh, this is really bad for the frame rate we can just decrease the screen percentage and um, you can also increase the step factor a bit. Okay, so now it's way better in the FPS. You can also play with the iteration number. Let's try eight, it's too low. So 12 looks like the minimum. Okay, now you have more than 100 FPS, so there's always a way to fix uh, the speed, the render time, let's say. You just have to play with the render settings. There's no really a, a, a rule for that. Pretty cool. Then there's entropy. The entropy basically if you increase this between 0 and 1 and then you change the entropy x you can loop that too for each axis also which is really trippy and another thing you can do in your project settings is and to change this play with those different anti-aliasing settings like this is looking better but then maybe when you animate the fractal it looks not that good for now let's keep that pretty cool there's also another example level which is pretty similar. So that's it for now. And I hope you, you like the new fractals, the new formulas. And see you in the next tutorial. Um, actually, the first tutorial, this was just a showcase uh, where we talk about all the new different settings here, the PBR workflow and the emission, the looping color options. So 